Today is about metadata overlays, metadata overlays, depending where you live, right? <laughs> but I want to make sure, like, if you're watching this video, you should already know about Essential Motion and you should already know about Ultimate Presets. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, pause the video and just go to the description or the card over here and check these videos first. Okay, and now that you're familiar with Ultimate Presets, today we'll talk about metadata overlays. Uh, this is one of the categories of the presets included in this premium preset pack. Over here I have a film that I have been editing for the past few weeks, and I want to display some, some information about the shot or about timecode and stuff like that in the frame, okay? So the best way to do it is to apply one of these presets to adjustment layer that you put on top of the footage. And for this project, I'm just using this first preset. And it's very simple, it just applies this timecode, sequence timecode to be precise, for reference and for the director to be able to like reference something specific up to the frame. And the second preset is also very simple, it applies the sequence timecode, source timecode, so that you can see like what's the timecode of this specific clip at this given moment and the file name. It's all set up already, so like the placing is correct, it's all in this one corner of the frame so that you don't have to redo it yourself. The third one has additional information because it has like a codec information and sound timecode as well. And I also like the fourth one a lot because this one is about sequence timecode and about the description. This clip doesn't have any description, but if I were to add it, Right, so I'll just go to Revealing Project and then I will go to the Description tab and I write Close Up, for example, then it shows up on the screen over here. Number five and number six have more information and actually I'll switch to a different project to my short film yellow ticket to show you how it looks. So here it is, let's drag number six onto the adjustment layer and we've got all of this information, right? You can notice that the spacing is not exact as it was in the, in, the, in the case of the previous sequence. The previous sequence was full HD sequence and number one through six will work best for full HD sequences, basically. Number seven to number 10 is more adjusted to ultra HD sequences like this one, right? So let's replace this preset with number 10. So there we go with this variation. It has sequence timecode, it has scene number, it has shot number and source timecode at the bottom. As with all of the types of presets in Ultimate Presets Pack, I will be adding more presets like that to the pack in the future. And once you purchase your copy, you can actually submit requests so that I can create presets that you actually need. The goal is to have like a very searchable list of presets that speed up your editing workflow so that you can edit faster and more efficiently. That's what it's about. That's what Cut to the Point is about. Take care, till the next time.